when I did the interview with Kirk Burroughs, right, he told me a story about how when Tupac was in prison, he sent the letter to Bad Boy, letting them know when he get out, it was beef. Did you know about that? I knew about the letter, but I didn't know about the content of it. You understand? See, you got to realize, Pac had people like Jada Pickett, Jasmine Guy, and it was somebody. It was somebody else. They was going around trying to collect money to get Pac out of jail. Nobody from Bad Boy gave up a dime. Nobody from Big Camp gave up a dime. But Big told me himself. He said, man, I was broke. I ain't had no money. I'm like, yo, nigga, nobody tell you to do a show or something? You get the door? He didn't think about it. He didn't have any guidance on that. So what got back to you when it came to the letter, even though you didn't know what the letter was about? But at that time when Tupac sent the letter to Bad Boy, what word got back to you about the letter? Or did Puffy and Kirk Burroughs keep it under wraps? Just take me back, man, to real time when it came to that. At the time, brother, let me just say, the work that I did, my computer, all I have to do is know a person's DIN number at the time. You see the letters go out. Do you understand that? You don't see the content. You see the letters. You see the letters that come in. You see the, inf the, the visitors, the people who call, and the calling log. I had privilege to that information. You understand? So now, when I, when I heard about the letter, I went to look at the log. Because anything that goes out, they keep a record of it. Anything that comes in, they keep a record of it. You can't see the content of it, but you know that it happened. So I knew it to be true when it came out. As of late, Puffy, he been showing Tupac love on social media, man. Have you seen it? What you think about it? Phony and bologna on a pickle sandwich. You want me to say it again? Huh? It's phonier than bologna on a pickle sandwich. Yes, he did idolize Tupac. We all knew that. We knew that about some of the speeches he said. He said the same shit that came out of Pac's mouth. But he didn't like him. If you ain't like that nigga in his life, how you gonna like, how you gonna love him in his death? Oh, you glad to see the nigga dead now. All right, okay. That's a very strong word to use, man. So you feel like Puffy, he idolized Tupac? And you really believe that? Yeah, he idolized that dude. You gonna go and make it your business? I don't know. To sleep with every chick that he slept with? Or maybe the chicks was just making the rounds. I don't know. But he made it his business. To sleep with every chick that Pac was sleeping with? Pac was the first one that came out with that yellow and black Versace shirt. What Puff go do? I want that same shirt right there. So you feel like Puffy getting with some of the same females that Tupac got with, like Sally Richardson and Sarah Chapman? You think he only got with him because Tupac had him. That's the only reason why he got with him. It probably was inspired because they was fine, but it put a plus on it because Pac had him. <laughs> it's a lot of fine women out here. You know what I'm saying? But I want the one that Pac had too. All right? 